Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Analysis with Kim. In today's video, we're going to dive into a super important topic in regression analysis, multicollinearity. We'll learn how to detect it in Excel using a correlation matrix and calculate the variance inflation factor, or VIF. Let's get started. Before we jump into Excel, let's quickly define what multicollinearity means. It occurs when two or more independent variables in your regression model are highly correlated. That can make it hard to tell which variable is actually influencing the outcome, and it can mess with the reliability of your coefficients. To spot multicollinearity, we'll first create a correlation matrix in Excel. Here's how. 1. Select your independent variable columns, for example, internet ads and direct ads. 2. Go to the Data tab and click Data Analysis. 3. Choose correlation from the list and hit OK. 4. Select your input range, check labels in first row if needed, and choose where to place the output. Once you run it, you'll see how strongly your variables correlate. If the correlation between two variables is over 0.8 or 0.9, that's a red flag. Let's use this sample correlation matrix from our dataset. Revenue, Internet ads, Direct ads. Revenue, 1 Internet ads, or 0.5463 Direct ads, 0.6723 with revenue and 0.4935 with internet ads. As you can see, none of the independent variables are dangerously correlated, but we'll take it a step further by calculating the VEF. Now let's go one step further and calculate the variance inflation factor manually. We'll use the same data set we used in our previous video on multiple linear regression. Here's the process. Pick one independent variable, let's say internet ads. Two. Run a regression where internet ads is the dependent variable and direct ads is the independent variable. 3. Note the R-squared from that regression. In our previous video, that was a 0 0.5129. 4. Plug it into the formula. VAF equals 1 divided by 1 minus R-squared. That gives us approximately 2.05. Repeat this process for each independent variable in your model. So, how do you know if the VIF is too high? Here's a rule of thumb. VF less than 5, you're good. VF between 5 and 10, moderate multicollinearity, worth watching. VF greater than 10, strong multicollinearity, time to take action. If your VF is too high, consider removing one of the correlated variables, combining them, or applying dimensionality reduction techniques like PCA. And that's it. Now you know how to detect multicollinearity using a correlation matrix and VF in Excel. This step is crucial for ensuring your regression models are both accurate and trustworthy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell so you never miss a tutorial. This is Kim, helping you turn data into insight. See you next time.